want to introduce you to our Generation 2 Bulldog Valve Robot. It's a smart home device that mounts over an existing ball valve. Um, right now we have it mounted on a, what I would consider a very large one and a half inch valve just to show its torque. So this is a three quarter inch valve solder type which is typical uh, in your home. So this device supports very large valves starting at uh, goes as low as a half inch up to this one and a half inch valve. So you can run this thing uh, various ways. Um, so you can manually run it, of course. You, there's a clutch under here I'm going to push with my finger and I'm going to try to hold this still while I give it the torque. So that's with the clutch. And I'm going to push it back. Ugh. So it's a pretty tough valve. Um, of course you can push the button on the uh, controller that it comes with. And we'll let it uh, finish its cycle. You can just see how powerful it is. But it is a, a smart home device, so the idea is that you can control it with your phone and integrate it into your smart home. So I'm just going to show you how I have it running on my phone here. All right, so there it is there, water, so we can see that it's off, and I can turn it back on again. So the idea with that is that if you had the, uh, so basically you can use your smartphone to manage your water shutoff. And that would be great for cottages or rental properties. And it just lets you remotely, from anywhere at any time, shut off or on your water. But the real uh, idea is that you would use it in the case of a leak. So here's our uh, water sensors, but there's lots of other water sensors that are compatible. And ours comes with a base that you can mount on the wall, and then you, you hang the probe and tape it to the wall or the floor where there might be a leak. But it's also portable in the sense that you can just place it on the floor. You can see the little spring-loaded prongs there. So you put that on the floor somewhere in the laundry room, in by the dishwasher, by the hot water heater. And if it detects a leak, it'll shut off the water. So I'm just going to show you that right now. So I'm just putting this tray here. So when I put this in here, it should shut off the water. I'm just going to wait so I can show you my phone. It'll send a, a leak alert to my phone. Okay, so... Alright, so there's the water is on. I'm going to put this in the water. I received a leak alert and it shuts off the water. And that's how you prevent, you know, water damage in your home. You're not around. Something happens, the laundry overflows, the bathtub overflows, the leak sensor gets wet, it shuts off your water, and then it sends you a note to let you know, and then you can uh, decide what you want to do next. Um, it can also be configured depending on the controller that you use so that it doesn't matter if you lose power or if you lose internet, it'll still uh, shut off the water. Um, and I just want to show you just another couple cool things in the smart home. So I just have a, a Z-Wave button here and I've configured it and hopefully when I push this it should uh, toggle the water. Alright, so that shuts off the water, on the water, whichever you prefer. And I'm going to just show you one more thing. I have the um, the Amazon uh, Bluetooth speaker here, and it also works with Google Home. So I'm just going to, I can just tell, in the case of an emergency, which would have been handy for my wife the other day, um, Alexa, turn off the water. Okay. And that's it. Econet's Generation 2 Smart Home Bulldog Valve Robot.